you've just processed through the streets of Exeter this afternoon. Why were you doing that and um, how did it feel? For me it felt like walking in the footsteps of all those women and men who have gone before um, and just saying thank you to those who have uh, that race for us. We're celebrating um, 25 years since the first donations of women to the priesthood. And I think walking through uh, the streets of the city of Exeter sort of reminds me of uh, the women priests who have served in this diocese. What did it feel like taking part in the procession just now? It's interesting because a lot of people, there were people asking what we were doing and people taking pictures and just being interested in it. And how did it feel to be gathered all together? Because I guess it doesn't happen very often. It doesn't happen often and it's always a joy when it does happen. And what does this anniversary mean to you? I was among the first ordained in 1994 as was Anne and just to come together remembering the years that have passed and the distance we've come and still have to go, it's important. I, I was ordained 25 years ago in Spouse Cathedral in London, so it's a time of bringing back all those memories. I can't believe it's 25 years, three things that have happened in that time, um, but all the distances we still have yet to travel. And um, do you feel that the Church of England is, um, you know, has got a long way to go, or do you think it's it's sort of dealing with things around the edges now? It's, it's dealing with things and things are moving on, but it's got a long, long way to go. And how did it feel today to be walking through the centre of Exeter with so many other women who are also ordained? It's re really quite exciting because we, we're not together as a large group very often and to see a lot of women priests together is, is very exciting and it's, it's good to take the opportunity to witness to be outside the church rather than inside it.